Let's find out how accurate the author Lindsay was in his portrayal of Dexter. I think Lindsay in writing the book um, really captured the persona of the psychopath. He's got the total narcissism of the psychopath, that emptiness, that void of feeling with no real emotion, no real empathy, uh, and no real relationships with any kind of intimacy. I think the style of writing that Lindsay chose to write the book in really captures that emptiness, you know, particularly since he wrote it in the first person. The disorder of a psychopath is one of a disorder of empathy. They're still very capable cognitively of reading social situations and knowing how to respond appropriately in a social situation, but they can't feel the deep emotion that happens, the empathy that actually contains our behavior. We know through the book that he has had traumatic events in his childhood that have contributed to this personality, which is again really consistent with the psychodynamics that create a psychopathic personality disorder. There's adoptive father recognized early on that Dexter had these difficulties because he had um, cruelty to animals. He started off by killing the next door neighbor's dog and very carefully placing it in, um, you know, burying it in well, complete serial killer ritual. His father being uh, a cop recognized the psychopathy at that point and rather than giving into it really shaped and formed the direction that it was going to go. Um, quite often serial killers are very grandiose and they do have this belief that they're helping society or they create this understanding that they're doing something better. Killing off people who have done horrible crimes, preventing them from doing further crimes, allows Dexter to feel good about himself for the work that he's doing.